Nishi Shah from Coding Mania. So this is my first ever video and I'm so excited about it. And even I'm nervous, but let's talk about our first video. So first video is based on um, speech recognition using machine learning. Uh, first I'll show you the demo. Okay, we will run this program first. What is your name? Here it's coming. You said, what is your name? And my name is Nishi, right? Open calculator. Calculator is open. Now, uh, oh, sorry, I'm speaking something. See, whatever I spoke, it's recorded here open wordpad it's understanding wordpad open wordpad yeah it's open open notepad it's open Download Candy Crush. Install antivirus. Install it on my screen. Okay, we'll try again. Install antivirus. Yes. Check inbox. Write a mail. So compose new mail is open. Okay, now we will jump on to the coding part. So here is my uh, libraries which I have imported. Uh, web browser is my library for opening web browser. Sub process for uh, creating new sub process. Uh, speech recognition is not in built library. I have downloaded and I, I have already mentioned the uh, code or command which you need to uh, which you need to write in your cmd and you need to download this okay and from time import c times for current time we are using this library then r equal to sr dot recognizer so sr is the alias of speech recognition and we are uh, storing its uh, recognizer uh, to our variable okay now we will see this uh, respond function later we will jump on to this with sr dot microphone okay so this is nothing but we are focusing on um, microphone and we are getting source uh, from microphone and uh, we, first of all, we are printing speak anything and whatever the response is coming, we are storing in storing it in audio variable. R dot listen is a is a function of respond uh, recognizer, right? And we are passing uh, as a parameter. We are so passing source as a parameter, and voice data is a blank variable. Now in we are here we are using exception handling try and accept block try is nothing but if so, something happened to this particular part uh, it will accept here like it will generate this statement okay uh, now 
voice data is a variable and it is storing the response which is coming from coming from recognize google function we are storing it um, voice data and whatever we are getting we are printing it simply then we are passing it as a parameter in respond function so we will check respond function now it is uh, having many if conditions so let's check it out first is what is your name in voice data in is not a exact matching string is like is a part of this or not okay so if if uh, i write equal to equal to instead of in it will be like it is exact matching string if someone says what is your name alexa then also it will reply my name is nishi okay you want to check i'll show you what is your name alexa see my name is nishi because it is not exact matching string it is a part of our voice data okay then what what time is it now or what time is it okay so you can use many words or you can use time instead of it or something so it will print the c time c time i have already told you for current time we are using this function then search for search uh, like we are using web browser dot get dot open and we, in which we are passing the query string and um, query string is q equal to voice data voice data is our data which we found and then open calculator sub process dot p open sub process is our library and p open is a function and we are passing the path of the calc dot exe file okay notepad um same thing we are uh, whatever we are doing for calculator in wordpad as well we are doing same thing but here note that write.exe is our um, exe file for wordpad okay then uh, search on web same thing whatever we are doing on uh, doing in this search i could have used or or condition and you, i could uh, mix this uh, condition as well but i uh, at that time i could not do because i don't want to do <laughs> then write a mail so write a mail uh, for that uh, i am passing a link of uh, compose equal to new this compose mail uh, what i what i did you know i just copy this link and then i passed here here okay so same thing you can do for checking inbox or anything then download or install like this is nothing but simple search what we we have done here if someone said differently so i i used uh, different if else condition okay now else pass pass is a nothing but um, whenever you don't have anything to perform you can simply write this pass okay so i hope you understand we will meet in next video with some some exciting program okay bye